What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. I go by the name of Myron of James Media and today we're going to talk about how to make your drone footage look amazing in DaVinci Resolve. Now I'm not going to waste your time so let's get right into it. Okay everybody so now we're back in DaVinci Resolve. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is actually just correct and expose my image. Now I'm going to use the histogram to actually help me do that. And what I'm doing is just make sure my shadows aren't clipping. I know my highlights are clipping just a bit. I'm gonna keep it right there, but then I'm also just bring the mid tones down a bit to about right there. So and then next thing I'm gonna do, I'm actually just go over here in the RGB um, mixer. Sorry, here we go right over here. And I'm just gonna saturate by using these values right here. So now it's getting me close to the image I want but I'm just gonna saturate just a little bit more. Then I'm gonna make sure I do it on the primary wheels because um, this actually control the whole image. And sorry, let me make this bigger. There we go. And I like it. I like it about right there because I want that sun to pop. So maybe I'll resaturate it a little later, but um, right now I like it like that. And I'm just gonna add a little more contrast to it. Um, one second, my phone ringing. <laughs> okay. And then I'm just gonna go over here to the shadows, highlights, temperatures, and all that. This is all in the second tabs. Yes, you control everything over here. But with the sliders, you can get everything just a little bit more dialed in. But right now, I'm not gonna mess with it. Um, so the exposure, I'm gonna still bring it down just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm about to open another node. And this is where the magic happened. This is where my color grade is gonna go. Uh, right here, add serial. And then on this note, I'm gonna actually use the RGB curves to give me the image that I want. Not RGB curves, sorry. Yeah, actually, yeah, the RGB curves, the red, green, and blue. I'm gonna mess with those manually. Yeah, we're gonna use the on parade. So first thing I'm gonna do is just bring down the highlights a bit on the red shadows just a bit i just want to make sure they're not clipping green so i'm gonna bring down yeah i'm trying to get this image balanced the best i can um but it's gonna be a certain look i'm gonna go for too that mostly have to do with blue so let's bring this up a bit but then those shadows are clipping a bit so i'm just gonna bring those up and to be honest guys, this just gonna be um this gonna be very tedious. Cause you just wanna make sure everything is balanced pretty much. Sorry, see. So yeah, messing with these lines sometimes can be a little um, challenging because you wanna make sure everything is balanced. Yep, I like that right there. And then for the greens, gotta make sure they fit in somewhere. Which they're actually doing pretty well. But I like that right there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the image, honestly. <laughs> that's pretty much the image I like right there. And that's actually pretty simple. That's a lot faster than when I did it the first time, let me tell you. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna make sure everything is Good. Maybe bring up the red shadows just a bit more. Yep, I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. Actually, I like that. I love that. I love how the, um, the purple, the orange, and the yellow is all kind of just blending in together. And the blue on the side. Now, I probably will desaturate the blue a little bit. Just a tad bit. You know, actually, I'm gonna desaturate the whole image to see how that look. Just a little bit. Yeah, I like that right there. It's not too strong. Yeah, I like that look. There is a little noise in it right now, so what I'm about to do, I'm about to just bring up the denoiser. I use neat video. I'm still learning it, so you know, don't roast me too much in the comments.
Here we go. Let's see. I can find it. Oh, sorry. We gotta drop this actually in the first note. Then we got pair profile. Then the screen is gonna pop pop up. I usually hit progressive, but like I said, I'm still learning how to um, I'm still learning how to use this. So, uh, <clears throat> sorry. So right now I gotta pick an area that the noise is in, and most of it is like over here. Um, so then I'm gonna hit build profile. I'm gonna build a profile around this. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to right here. I'm gonna actually go to adjust and preview. And go to spatial. I'm just gonna bring the luminance down to maybe 25. Artificial artifact removal, yes, I want that on too. Smooth edging, no, because I don't want to make it look too fake. Sharpening, hmm, yeah, we'll hit sharpening for now. Uh, yeah, and then I'll hit apply, and now the noise is actually applied to the image. And it's actually looking a little better right now because there's it's a lot of noise over here, but it looked a lot better. And I'm, I'm not saying all of it is gone, but you know, hey, uh, less noise, less noise is better noise, right? Right. So and that's there you have it. You know that was actually pretty quick. It was a lot faster than the first couple of times I did it. And if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Actually, before I go, let me see some. My. Let me see something real fast. I'm actually about to mess with the shadows. Yep, that's actually how I like my images right there. I like, to, I like to be really contrast like right there. So that's the final image, guys. And I hope you enjoy this. Okay, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Like I said, I am by no means a professional. I'm making these videos to help people who are beginning like I was two years ago. So I hope you learned something, and if you are, leave a comment below. If you're not, leave a comment below. If you have any suggestions how I can do this better, leave a comment below. I'm always looking to learn, I'm always looking to get better. But before you leave, what I want you to do is smash that like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. I hope you're staying safe, and I hope you're having a good day. Peace.